trying to film inside the cowling in order to work out what I'm going to do with this uh, baffle arrangement. In fact, a good point of reference is the fact that that spark plug lead is right up against the cowling. That will be useful for a measure in a minute. I've taken the top cowl off in order to show you what we're talking about with regards to this bottom cowl and this uh, baffle. This is a baffle that I'd like to replace. You can see it's a little bit worn. Um, it also bends down. Um, the object of the exercise is to form a seal which actually takes all of the air as it comes from the front here and turns it all back down through the fins. Now as far as I'm concerned into a cruise speed some air is going to come down by the side of this. When I looked on the uh, internet tried a couple of YouTube films on baffles they didn't have a bracket that came out at right angles like this one here that's probably the best way of looking at it they didn't have a right angle what they did is they had a baffle that came straight up now the point I've just said and what I was doing to measure was I was looking to see how high that baffle needed to be in order to bend over and the cowling was just resting on that lead there so it means that what I want to do is I want to create a template around these rocker box covers which we'll do in a minute by taking the lower cowl off um, and then having something that will come up okay has me merrily pointing something out and the camera's in the wrong direction so it will come up like that so see what happens in a minute I've now released all of the rocker box screws that hold this particular bracket in place so I can lift that bracket away and put that on the carpet on the wing root and what it now means is that I can make the cardboard template up which will sit hopefully fairly snugly against there up onto that bracket there and onto that chin bracket for the front there and then that hopefully will do a better job of it. With the bottom cowling off I uh, made a paper template and from that paper template I've actually made a card template because what I need to do is I need to be able to hold that in place and with that in place just check to see how it works on this front corner okay so uh, just have a little play around with that for a while I took the paper templates back to mine and from those made up the uh, aluminium sheets that will be the basis of the baffles. They're in place now. I've got to do some tidying up. Um, I'm just checking that position wise it's it's okay. Locking on with the back and as I say that chin's piece from there. I now need to mark it along here for the rivet holes that will hold in place the uh, baffle material. So uh, that's the next job. Well, I have to say that took a lot longer than I expected. Um, but I've now got both this side and the other side done. And I've also taken off all of the old baffles from along the back. So beginning to lose a little bit of light in this hanger. So I'm going to call that a day. And then tomorrow I'll come and fit the baffles. So, yeah. It's uh, a fairly neat looking job. See what happens in the morning. Well, the uh, baffles are on now. 
Um, we have tested them, and well, we tested this side. We get to test the, test the other side, but they do fit really well. So what I've done is I've riveted that side. And it should be easier to show on the other side of the engine that um, I've put an aluminium strip instead of the washers so likewise I've put a split in it so it doesn't crack over the entire length and I think I'm putting the next bit off a little bit but I can just say one last job but it's going to be a fairly complicated one because I've actually got to now put the baffles on the back but we're getting there and I think it's looking fairly neat even though I say it myself now there's not a lot of light, but hopefully there's enough to see what's happened now with the completed baffles. I guess I do need to put a little bit of a stronger cable tie in to hold those ones down. And I can assure you that when we put the cowling in, that actually holds it down and we do get a pretty good seal. Of course when that sits inside the cowl that all bends that down to give a really snug fit. It's a bit difficult to light in here um, because there's not much space to film through but I think you can see in there that it's sealing fairly well on the side and then along the back so yeah, I'm quite pleased with that. With the work complete, it's uh, just a matter of making sure that the paperwork is up to date. So in the engine logbook, I have made an entry uh, which says new engine baffles made and fitted. See aircraft worksheet TP 2017 ongoing. I've signed it and um, it's got my license number in and then in this folder which is um, my worksheet and permit paperwork flight tests etc I've got a worksheet on the go which is TP 2017 ongoing and in this so far this year I've got the fitting of the new cylinder head um, combined ECG with their senders, an uh, oil change I did, the Roma filter that I put in, and the fact that we adjusted the port brake, canopy repair, and now down the bottom there, it says new engine baffles made, black engine baffle material, and I've quoted the number from LAS, and also cross refer to the fact that I have made an entry into the logbook. Then John will get to see this when he does the permit renewal. Um, the only other thing I've got in terms of the paperwork trail is in this box file that's sitting underneath the logbook here. And what I've got is I have all of my uh, original paperwork. So I've got the LES um, invoice and release note. So with that all complete, it's just a matter of doing the test flight but that will be in a different video